so this was a little bit unexpected. So for those of you who don't know, I have a special needs daughter and we've been fighting over the last few days trying to keep her out of the hospital and we lost. Now before you get too worried, she's doing much better now and we're hoping to not be in the hospital that long because she has a really hard time with respiratory infections and we thought she might have pneumonia, we're not sure. But that's not what you clicked on this video to see. Now I had to leave work kind of abruptly so what I'm doing right now is coming and picking up my tools since I don't want to leave them on the job site all weekend. Let's not forget the camera. Today is like the first day this week that's not very good for video, at least when you don't have a weather sealed camera. Back at the hospital, let's find somewhere out of the rain that I can finish this video. All right, this should work. Hopefully no one will come out and make it so that I can't. Is this even gonna work? Ah. The problem is I'm not just fighting the rain, I'm fighting the wind too. And this, this isn't gonna work. This would have been way easier if I wouldn't have forgotten my dead cat and maybe I should just go get it. If I can't find somewhere, I'm just gonna go ahead to grab my dead cat. It just looks big and obnoxious. Hospitals are not the ideal place to vlog. You can't find somewhere that's quiet, free of the rain, and free of the wind. I just, I can't figure out anything. Finally found somewhere that's nice and quiet. So first of all, I gotta say when I decided to do the hashtag solo stories, I did not realize how many people would actually submit entries. I'm gonna list all of my favorite ones down in the description, so check out all of those videos. And I want to give a special shout out to a few of the people who didn't really fit into the parameters, but I still think did a really good job. I want to shout out Mike Smell, John Chan, Majestic Hives, Fly By Francis, Polo Lopez, Brendan Bashir, and Eli Sufian Russell. And all of them are linked down in the description. Check out every single one of their channels. We have some amazing creators in this community who I think are gonna go really far on this platform. And now I wanna talk about my five favorites. It's very hard to pick a winner for any of these. It's not gonna be in order of like the worst to the best, but I wanted to really highlight these people's videos because I just, I thought they were really well done. First of all, Judas Scott, I really, really liked your video. I thought you told your story well. I liked how you flashed up the picture of you and your dog from when you got it. So we got Toby four years ago on, on December 21st. I thought that was really well done. You really told a concise, clear story. So Judith Scott, like check out her video. It was really good. Quest Entertainment. Now your video, when I first was watching, I was like, Okay, this is kind of, I'm not sure what, I am I have no idea what he's doing. So it was one of those things where at first I didn't realize what you were doing, but then once I saw what you were editing and you that you weren't just pulling out your computer to edit random things that you didn't show us, I was like, the entire story clicked together. Really, really good job on that. I That was really well done. Heath George, your video was long. It could have been shortened, but other than that, wow. That video kept me riveted. I, I'm i not even sure what it was. I loved how you had the little side story of the Marines out training. Don't know if you could hear that or not, but the Marines are up here and they're practicing. So maybe not the best day to come up here and do some. So I'm gonna have to find a forest somewhere away from them. I really liked that. I liked your premise. You really made it clear what your video is about. Great job, really enjoyed. Next one was one that I actually just recently saw and it was from microphone guy. I plucked my microphone out into the smartphone camera. And by the difficult circumstances, I forgot an important tip that I learned from my favorite vloggers. That's why this footage is so shaky, by the way. And I must say, I have no idea how much experience you have with video, but that 
was well done. How you told your story, how you referenced back to your old footage, and kind of made a story where there was no story. I'm really looking forward to more content that you put out in the future because I, I just, I really love that video. And finally, and this actually I think was my favorite, and I, that's kind of hard to say because it's like totally different than all of the rest, but Stephen McKeown, I really, really liked your video. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you. Now what I love about this video is that he introduces it. He does the jump, flashes up the title, so you know it's about jumping immediately. And then when he walks up to the boat, you start questioning yourself, and what, is he gonna jump onto that boat? Like, whoa, that would be impressive. And then he does the jump onto the boat. You fulfilled our expectations, but then, where everyone was like, but I mean, he didn't actually jump on the boat, and that's what's ended, and that's what ended. And then you came back and you showed how you did it. So basically you got our minds to start asking questions and then you answered them. And that was so, so brilliant in a one minute video. I loved it, man. And definitely go check out Stephen McKeown's channel because I just thought it was really good. And guys, just go check out every one of their videos, show them some love because you can tell that they put so much effort into these videos and they put so much effort into actually trying to tell a story instead of just having amazing footage. And that was what this challenge was about. It wasn't about getting a cinematic film that's gonna wow people, it was about telling story. And that is what I loved in the videos that I picked to be my top five, is they all told a story. And that, at the end of the day, is what I want to do. Now you might say, well, you only do videos about camera gear. Yeah, but I'm telling story. Not only am I telling a story about the equipment or the technique I'm doing, but then there's been this underlying story about my life, my work, my family, the fact that I'm in the hospital right now with my daughter. Those are the things, the mundane things of life that I really love telling stories about. I am really excited for all of the creators. Everyone who entered this video, just keep on killing it because you guys you are going to be incredible creators. Well, that's about all I have. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. For more content like this, subscribe to all the people who entered content into this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Now, for those of you who didn't realize, I'm actually using a different lens that I'm gonna talk about really in depth in an upcoming video.